And check out the view from the CTV Skywatch camera looking north on 13th Street North. A little partly cloudy is what we're calling it right now with still a lot of sunshine out there. A little bit of conflict though with the current temperature. 28 degrees at the airport, partly cloudy there. But in North Lethbridge, it's 33 degrees. And I know that there are varying temperatures all around Lethbridge right now. Our humidity value is at 32%. Barometric pressure is falling a little bit and that's maybe why the airport reading is at 28 degrees. But we did, uh, we did get to 33 so far. Uh, and as I said, daytime heating even yesterday didn't happen until 6 p.m. So there is still a little bit of time for that to maximum out. Uh, as you see, temperatures all over pretty healthy Medicine Hat. You're at 35 degrees right now. But humidity levels are pretty dry. So it's not that real sticky, sticky heat. Yes, it's warm. Certainly is in many areas. Still watching low pressure center that's splitting as it comes across the mountain. So we get these bands moving across. But we have surface highs that they are skipping across. So there is some active weather attached to that band as it moves closer to the uh, Alberta Saskatchewan border. So Lloyd Minster Coronation could see some thunder shower activity tonight, but there is some severe weather warning for uh, watches and warnings for thunder showers uh, along the uh, eastern edge of the Alberta Saskatchewan border. So places like Prince Albert, North Battleford uh, are pretty much in the line of target for some thunder shower activity tonight. Other than that though, we've got this area of high pressure at the surface. So just seeing little bands of cloud moving across as we get into tomorrow areas to the north could see some shower activity, but we have that area of high pressure in the south. So that is due to keep us dry over the next several days. As I said, just some high level thin cloud is all we're expecting here so far. So the parade day still looks dry, still looks hot. 29 degrees on Tuesday for parade day. Down east, 18 degrees in St. John's. We do have a low pressure center rotating in northern Quebec, although for Quebec City, they were under a thunderstorm watch that has since ended, but they could see some thunder showers there tonight and also through Montreal and Ottawa. Out west, 27 degrees in Winnipeg right now, 27 in Regina, 32 in Saskatoon. And as I said, that thunder shower activity for Prince Albert, North Battleford area is still in effect. 26 degrees in Edmonton right now, 29 in in Kelowna. It's raining in Vancouver. It's a little shower activity going on in Victoria as well. Up north, 26 in Whitehorse, 21 in Yellowknife, but they're still feeling the effects of some uh, residual forest fire smoke up in those northern areas. East Kootenai, a few clouds tonight, 14 for a low, 25 for a high tomorrow. Sun and cloud mix, chance of a late day shower. Uh, southwest winds in the afternoon hours that will be fairly light, 20 kilometers per hour is what's expected. Crow's Nest Pass, a few clouds tonight, 13 for a low, 26 for a high tomorrow. And you're expecting a sun and cloud mix. Winds will be out of the west at about 30 kilometers per hour for you. For Medicine Hat, looking at a beautiful clear night, 16 degrees for a daytime uh, or an overnight low daytime high tomorrow, 33 degrees for a daytime high. Southwest winds at 20 kilometers per hour by the afternoon. And here in Lethbridge, we're looking at partly cloudy skies tonight, 14 for a low. Tomorrow, mainly sunny. Southwest winds at 30 kilometers per hour. The expected high, 32 degrees. And even as we get into the weekend, double 28s for Saturday and Sunday, and even into Monday, 28, 29 degrees is what it looks like it's going to be for the rest of next week. It's looking very stable with that area of high pressure. So uh, yeah, fingers crossed, whoop up days. To have it dry and sunny, that's, uh, that's just perfect for everyone who wants to get out and enjoy the midway. Now, Dory Story, this is part two, our concluding segment of our look at Coyote Flats. This weekend, Jamboree Days take place in Picture Butte, but part of that celebration is Harvest Days which take place at the Coyote Flats Pioneer Village, home of the Prairie Tractor and Engine Club. Nicole is excited about this weekend, which will give people a look at the past. If you come over here during harvest days, then you get to see what the pioneer life was for people back, for, back then for Southern Alberta and Picture Butte area. So it kind of gives them a good overview of what life was like back then and we have all sorts of activities for them as well. Lots to see and do, but it takes a lot of effort to maintain this village. Irwin knows all about what it takes to keep up the maintenance on this popular attraction. It takes a lot of money and when money we haven't got so we have to do it little by little to uh, build it up and these buildings as you see around here they need painting, they need windows, they need roofs put on them and uh, we do have a lot of people that are members here and we have uh, retired people, farmers, mechanics like myself and Merle and others, and uh, even some contractors that come in here and, and help out. 
but some of the big things have to be done by a contractor. We, we can't handle it. Irwin also says that they are grateful for any and all donations from the public and Southern Alberta businesses. It all helps to keep this piece of history available for everyone. Once they're here, and once they come and never been here, they're very surprised at what they see here. They didn't even realize we were here. Dory's Story, brought to you by Langenberg Optical. Once again, voted best of the best.